Major funding for this Re 180 workshop is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. Intel Corporation is a proud supporter of PBS. The Intel Innovation in Education initiative provides teachers with the resources to inspire their students and encourage them to unlock their potential. At Chiff Peanut Butter, we know just how choosy you are when it comes to your family, including the shows you value most. Public television encourages kids' curiosity and love of learning, and Jif is proud to support CyberChase on behalf of all choosy moms and dads. And by a ready-to-learn television cooperative agreement from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This program was also made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to Workshop 6, Amigo Brothers. Boxing, win or lose, is a tough sport. And what if your opponent was a friend? Over the next few weeks, you'll be reading a short story about two 17-year-olds, Antonio and Felix, who are such close friends that they think of themselves as brothers. But what will happen when they have to fight each other for a really important prize? In the video story, you'll meet two boxers who really are brothers, Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko. Will they ever fight each other? Read, watch, and you'll find out. Reading 1, Amigo Brothers. P.D. Thomas was born in 1928 as Juan Pedro Tomas of Puerto Rican and Cuban parents. He grew up in a poor and tough neighborhood in New York City and eventually ended up in prison, where he served seven years of hard labor. But P.D. overcame all obstacles to become one of America's classic modern authors. The P.D. Thomas short story you'll read in this workshop is set in the 1950s on the Lower East Side of New York City. Latino families have lived in this area for many years. At the time the story takes place in the 1950s, boxing was a popular sport among city boys, and they often competed at neighborhood clubs called boys clubs. As the story begins, Antonio and Felix are nervously getting ready to fight each other in a match in a famous local park. In professional boxing, only one opponent can come out on top. But what if your opponent was your brother? Would you want to beat him in the ring? In this video story, you'll see how one pair of boxing brothers have answered that question. Boxing Brothers. In the world of boxing, two Russian brothers have ruled the ring. This is Vitaly Klitschko, known as the Knockout King. He became World Heavyweight Champion of the World Boxing Council in 2004. This is Vladimir Klitschko, who won a gold medal in the 96 Olympics and became the World Boxing Organization's Heavyweight Champion in 2000. So which brother is better? Boxing experts just can't decide. They're both good, and they're both really big, and it'd be a tall order for anyone to beat either guy. The only way we'll really know is if they fight each other. But that would be really tough for two brothers as close as these two. This is the connection between us. Vitaly is big at 6 feet 8 inches and 5 years older than his brother. But at 6 foot 6, little brother Vladimir isn't so little. The Klitschko's size and their long arms put other boxers at a great disadvantage. That long reach makes it tough for opponents to duck or evade their punches. But the Klitschko's size isn't the only reason for their success. Both brothers have been training long and hard since they were teens, and the years of work have paid off in the ring. Since they began boxing, these heavyweights have won most of their fights. And they're champs outside the ring, too. Both graduated from college and went on to further studies in sports science. They both love reading, politics, movies, and chess. We try to develop and try to enjoy the life from many, many sides. It's no surprise, then, that these brothers are very close. And win or lose, they always support each other. But the burning question remains. In a fight against each other, which brother would win? Would Vitaly overpower his younger brother with his size? 
Would Vladimir's youth make him too quick for his brother to handle? Will we ever find out? It will never happen. We don't want to see our mother crying and we don't want to break our mother's heart. And we promise our mother when we start to box we will never fight against each other. The Klitschkos have sworn they'll never meet in the ring, not even for the big bucks. Money is very important point in the life. It's not everything. So don't expect to see Vladimir and Vitaly slugging it out for the title. For the Klitschkos, family ties are more important than any prize.